Today we're going to be showing off how to add external hard drives and extra storage to your Xbox Series X. This is very easy, you just find a USB port, there's one on the front, two on the back, and we're just going to add in a storage solution. So this one, just an extra storage, keeping in mind that for the USB slots, we're going to show off the extra storage option in a sec here, but for the USB slots, you need USB 3.0 in order to run, you got a one terabyte fire CUDA option here so you just take it plug it in and there'll be a prompt on the screen in order to run it and you're good to go so as you can tell I've got two external hard drives on the back you can have three in total running and the storage solution so this is really easy too this is just the Seagate expansion drive I have a separate review that kind of showcases this talks about it and goes over it it's very simple you just take it there's a slot in the back that says uh, expansion storage, storage expansion, and you just kind of gently slide it in there and it'll immediately be available on your console. You're good to go. It's easy as that. Storage takes three seconds on the Xbox Series X no matter what you're doing. So either you've got these Seagate ones, maybe they'll have different options later on. We'll review those probably of course too if they're available, but yeah, just slap those in there. You want an external hard drive for last gen games, use the USBs. This is for your next-gen Xbox Series X optimized games. Very easy. Throw it in there. Runs instantly. No issues at all. These ones, again, last-gen games. Games that don't require the next-gen storage. And that is basically just adding an external hard drive to your Xbox Series X. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well, and I hope you found this helpful. Okay, the hard drive is plugged in. We get three different options. You can cancel. You can format the storage device in order to work for your games. Again, when you're using these ones, it is last-gen games or games that don't require the next-gen storage. You need a special storage slot, which we'll talk about briefly in a sec here in order to work that. Or you can use it for media. So for the media one, music, videos, pictures, throw it on there, use it for that. You can use that as an option for recording gameplay right from your console to the storage drive. You can do up to an hour, 4K, 60 HDR, non-HDR, which is SDR footage, if you'd like to. But for this particular choice, we're formatting the storage drive. It's going to format, and then eventually you're going to get the option, once it's done formatting, to basically kind of name it. So you're going to have things such as, like, I've named mine the Cortana 2, the Arnie 2, stuff like that. So those are basically some of your storage options in regards to how that works. So we're going to show off something else here. So we're in the settings here, and then we go over to storage devices. And you can see we have different options here, and this is where you're able to kind of do your renaming. So you press the start button, say we've got the, uh, the, the extra drive here, the new one we just installed, you'd press start on it. You can install here by default, move or copy things, uninstall stuff, rename it. This is also a way that you can format it. You can set it as a capture location. View the contents, very easy. They've even got the info on the left-hand side there kind of telling you what everything does. It's very simplistic, you know, it's a very easy to manage system and just generally very simplistic to use and kind of set up your drives with. I hope that was helpful.